Oh, I should have got some tissues. Hello, hello, people. We're live. We're live. Live on We're the alive. Literally billions of people could be watching us right now. Billions. Billions of cells are watching us right now. <laughs> it could be billions of people. All right. It's, it's, Tracy's just playing a little welcome music as people, people tune in, get comfortable. Depending on where you are, we'll, we'll determine the type of beverage that you have to enjoy the show. You know, West Coast is probably still having coffee out there. Herbal tea. Midwest, they're having cow's milk, I would imagine, out there in the Midwest. <laughs> what are they drinking in Chicago? In Chicago, they're drinking... Uh, Pizza? Well, they're having, their, <laughs> they're having their, their Italian beef sandwiches for lunch. Maybe a Diet Coke. I don't know what they drink there. A pop. Pop. What about Florida? Florida, they're having an orange Julius right now. Having a... <laughs> How about Texas? Texas, Lone Star beer. Iced tea. Iced tea. What are you having? Right now, I'm having um, chamomile tea for my esophagus. For his esophagus. Yeah. So, hello, Here's everybody. to you, esophagus. Yeah. How are we right. doing? We got uh, some people um, online do, there. Are, we, do. we have verification that we are live. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Wine in Connecticut is what we're hearing. Wine in Connecticut. Richard Perkins <laughs> is drinking a hot dog. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, hello from Scotland. Well, hello, Scotland. Scotland. And Abba's checking in. Hi, Teresa. They're having um, some haggis over there in Scotland. <laughs> Jeff's checking in from Santa Rosa. Uh, my He's brother John. Ice water. Ice water. My brother John is uh, in Virginia. What do you have in there? I would I would imagine sweet tea. In, what in do you have, brother John? Let's hear it. Oh, Todd is having coffee in West Virginia. Nice. I don't yeah, know I why it, I said it like that. It, West Virginia is more like it. West Virginia. Coffee. I don't know. How do you can say drink it? coffee any time of the day or night, pretty much. Some people are like that. They can drink. They can drink fully caffeinated coffee at eleven o'clock at night and just go right to bed. I know it knocks some people out. Cast iron stomach. L A. Wait, Robert, are you in Louisiana or L A? I can't tell. It just says hello from La. Could be either one. Could be the one. Richard Perkins is not getting the comments. You know, Richard, they're coming in from. Here's the thing, we're getting them all funneled into our Streamyard platform, which is where we're sending the stream out to various. Um, you know, to YouTube and Facebook and all the YouTubes, all the Facebooks. But I think whatever thing that you're on, you're just going to see the comments from people who are on that with you. So we think our hypothesis is that most people are actually on the YouTube stream. That's where on, the, on my on the Jim Henry channel, I think. On Jim Henry's thing. So if you can find your way there, I think you'll see the most comments. Right. So, well, we mentioned West Virginia, Todd, so you're all good. <laughs> <laughs> it, Iced coffee in Pennsylvania. All right. <laughs> and I, you know, I would encourage people to, you know, if they want to, if they want to chat with the people from all over the world, literally. Um, I think if if, every, if people wanted to go over to the YouTube channel, that's where most people are. So if you wanted to join the community, that's probably not a bad idea. Okay, Brother John is saying something about mead. Mead. <laughs> and uh, Larry mead. Hoyt's having a cherry coke. All right, I haven't heard <laughs> cherry coke in a hundred years. Um, Gloucester. <laughs> Gloucester's in the house. All right, They're Jody. drinking chowder. They're drinking chowder. Northampton's in the house. Nice. Yay. All right, so check out the YouTube feed. If you're, if you're on Facebook and you're not seeing a lot of these comments, they're probably over on YouTube. Um, oh, Don's having lunch in Portland. Hey, Don, it's nice to see you in here. Nice. Whiskey. Whiskey? Can you do that at this hour? Yeah. I guess you can. Sure. So, well, they're doing wine in Connecticut. Somebody is telling us our video has frozen for them. Is anybody else, can anyone else see that? And Hannah, we want to know what you're drinking. We're taking a toll, we're taking a poll. No, I'm looking, our video has not frozen, so we're cool. Okay, Dane, I'm not sure. Dane, I think, I'm not sure where you're checking in from, but um, what platform? Maybe try the YouTube. The YouTube is usually the most stable and the best sounding. I'm thinking we so. should play a song. I think people are here. You ready? Yep. Our theme is animals. <laughs> he had a blue wing, 
tattooed on his shoulder Well, it might have been a bluebird, I don't know But he gets stone drunk, talks about Alaska Yeah, the salmon boats and 45 below Said he got that blue wing out in Walla Walla And his cellmate there was little Willie John Yeah, and Willie, he was once a great blues singer And a winging Willie wrote him up a song Said it's dark and blue wing there to kick things off oh my goodness we have so many people checking in this is so fantastic hello another from Santa Rosa hello Michael and uh, aw aw what oh 
we just have a, a lot of nice people showing up. That's all. Oh, good. We like and it when Vicky's the nice here people and show Pat up. Pat is here, and David Hanks is very happy. Good. We like to keep David Hanks happy. People are happy. Roberta says it sounds great. Chad and Jackie, hello, cousins. Checking in from Michigan. Oh, Robert says, let's all toast each other. Let's do. <laughs> let's all toast each other right now. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to you. Cheers, everybody. Happy Tuesday afternoon. Hey, I'm going to toast right to the camera. Hello. <laughs> You're so fancy. Whoops. Yeah, your guitar was on during that one. Yeah, I know. Oh. For the strumming, though? Yeah. But oh. this wasn't on. The booster wasn't okay. on. Okay. All right. Do you want violin or mandolin on this next one? I want violin on this one. Violin? Just like the olden days when yeah. we used to play this live and in concert. Remember concerts? Well, we're, this, we're playing it live today. but We are. Yeah, so keeping with the... Th the animal theme. This is a little bit of a stretch, not an entire, not terribly. That's not a terribly big stretch, but. That's not a stretch at all. I don't think. Try the key. Okay. All right. Yeah. Here's a little song I wrote uh, about. 5,000 years ago, one called One Horse Town. Oh, wait, hang on. What are you doing there? I'm switching the magic knob. When he was leaving home on Saturday, so the whole town gathered at the picket gate. To wave him off cause he was New York City bound His mama cried as he pulled away His daddy smiled as if to say You're the last of three to get out of this one horse town But then the wind picked up, the rain came down Everybody headed for the center of town Where there was cold beer Stories at the bar and They forgot about the pouring rain Before too long there was music playing and Mama and the daddy danced Till the pain was gone They're living it up in a one-horse town A peck on the cheek when there's no one around the squeak of the door at the general store And an old man smile The kids want to leave this life behind Discover the world beyond the county line They got a good start Straight from the heart of a one-horse town Summer nights, the wind won't blow The daddy tunes in the radio The city's close to where the kids have gone Jennifer's a warm Santa Fe Jesse's all clear in Portland, Maine Jimmy in New York City can't see the stars They're living it up in a one-horse town Peck on the cheek when there's no one around The squeak of the door at the general store And an old man smile The kids want to leave this life behind Discover the world beyond the county line They got a good start Straight from the heart of a one-horse town
surprise Mama held me close looking right in the eye Says it's a long, long time since we've been in this house alone Spent our lives with kids to raise Now that they're gone and on their way Cause you and me are still in love in this one horse town Living it up in a one horse town A peck on the cheek when there's no one around The squeak of the door at the general store And an old man smile The kids want to leave this life behind Discover the world beyond the county line They've got a good start straight from the heart of a one horse town they got a good start straight from the heart of a one-horse town. All right. Yeah. Boy, I haven't played that in a long, long, long time. And you wrote that one. I did. Lovely. One-horse town. It's not a stretch. That's a horse is an well, animal. You title. get to do that. It's all right. It, it's not. That. It's not about animals per se. No. But, but it's got a. It's got an animal in the title. Oh, Pete's in the house. Pete, I'm glad it's sounding good there in Florida. Hey, Pete. Well, he's having a. What is a Mexican Coke? Mexican Coke is that like a? Is that Corona? a different one? <laughs> What, well, yeah, what well, is we're going to need to we're going to need to know more. Yeah, we can't, Peter. We cannot continue the show until we know what that is. We're going to need to know more about this Mexican Coke business. Let's see. I don't know what this is. It has cane sugar. What? Is that true? Oh, with real sugar. Oh, people know this. We don't know this, but... What do you mean real sugar? Real sugar as opposed to maybe... Fructose? One of the alternatives. Oh, it's National Wine Day, says Judy. But she's having cool lemon water in Memphis. That sounds really good. Oh, not cane sugar, not corn syrup. Oh, interesting. Are so knowledgeable. Every, uh, is it we every always day? learn so much. Isn't every day wine day? I don't know. Well, apparently it's National Wine Day. <laughs> yeah, it's a wine day for everything. Do it. Channel cat, lily white lies, rock my cradle and eat Jimmy Crack fans. He never knew Papa and never asked why. Yeah, now people say Papa wouldn't know a count anyway. People say Papa was a rolling stone. Well, I turned 20 on a whack a mall through a kitchen up river in the dark alone. Sleeping with a stranger in a no man town. Thanksgiving dinner at the top hat lounge. Christmas Eve in the fantasy town. Oh, Lord have mercy on a crocodile man. Lord have mercy on a crocodile man. Well, I hooked up with a carny a little out of Memphis, slaving in a sideshow, pennies in a jar, belied jokers and hick town princes, rhinestone rubies, rubber cigars, a rouse of me a gator out in Omaha City, did me another down in New Orleans, tangled with a barker, run off with a kitty, I crawled the Mississippi and I got away clean, sleeping with a stranger in a no-name town, Thanksgiving dinner at the top hat lounge, Christmas Eve. Fantasy town, oh Lord, have mercy on a crocodile man. Lord, have mercy on a crocodile man. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> There's Jimmy. As he's over. Thank you, Internet. Well, I 
underneath the levee in a cattail thicket Hidden in the shadow of a shady grove There's a thatched river rising from a poke fence Picking a white smoke with billows from a kettle black stove Inside the house is the hall of mirrors Inside the mirror is a temple of sin Inside the temple is the face of mama Mama, she knows just where I've been Oh, my mama knows exactly where her bad boy Lord have mercy on the crocodile man. Lord have mercy on the crocodile man. Lord have mercy on the crocodile man. Lord have mercy on that crocodile man. That was yeah, that was Sprightly. Sprightly, yeah. It's like that was that was threatening to go off the rails the entire time. <laughs> At least from my end of it. <laughs> That's because I'm having Earl Grey tea. Oh uh, yeah, you're all caffeinated up. Zip zip. Yeah. Oh boy. Hard cider. Someone's got hard cider going. Nice. You know, it's nothing. Yeah, day drinking. <laughs> it's a it's a, it's a great thing. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're so happy that you all are here. Thank you so much for listening. If you have a second and you have the wherewithal, why not invite a friend and tell them how much fun you're having? We love, uh, we love it when, well, you know, part of the reason we're trying to broadcast this to more platforms is that we just want to make sure that we always hear from people after the show, oh, I didn't know it was happening, you know, yada, yada. So we're trying to make sure that people know. And... Um, if every person told one person, that would be twice as many people. You know, we might also <laughs> want to mention, uh, you know, that this is a donations only kind of thing. You can you can donate if you if you have a little uh, if you have the inspiration to, or not. You can just sit and enjoy the show, drink your drink. That's right. There's our there's our little information on our fancy. Yeah, I'll banner. leave that up there for a little while. Yep. This is still our gig. I know things are things are beginning to open up slowly. And if you got my newsletter today, then uh, you know that Jim Henry and I do have an in-person show in June, late June, out on uh, in Kensington, New Hampshire, on a farm. So it's going to be an outdoor show. We're actually kicking off the lawn concert series there. Yeah, I'm good thing we're getting our animal that. getting our animal songs together for the farm show. <laughs> That's good. I don't think it's that kind of farm, but maybe it is. I don't know, but. Um, but, you know, but this whole opening up thing is going to be slow, and we are going to be particularly cautious about it. And so we're sticking to live streams for now. This is our gig. So um, That's right. we do appreciate your support. Um, that is true. Oh, this is a, this one's, yeah. Yeah, let's do, I, I, this next one is one I learned when I was working at a summer camp right after I graduated college, put my degree right to good use, and worked at a summer camp. And um, this was sort of the camp... This is a big favorite at the, at the camp there. It turns out it's a Alan Sherman song, which we just found out today. So. It's one called the Aardvark Song. Large dark art bark in the park. They say he's missing from the zoo. And the police are looking high and low, but they have not seen him. Have you? Why did he go? Oh, I'll tell you the reason. Cause it's art bark mating season. When an art bark makes a day. He sneaks right through that old zoo gate So if you see two aardvarks necking in the park Don't upset the apple cart Do not be a spy You're not the FBI You should never break an aardvark's heart How is that me? It's you <laughs>
being aardvark is not easy, folks. Cause all you get to eat is ants. And all the other animals make jokes at your attempts to find romance. Nobody laughs at hippopotamuses or at fat rhinoceroses, but an aardvark makes them howl. Cause he's neither fish nor fowl. He's like a kangaroo in love with a gnu. And that's what makes the zoo folks laugh. All of this is so. And this is how I know, cause I'm your friendly neighborhood giraffe. Fun song that is. So good. The art with the large. It's actually the large dark aardvark song. Is the with title. two A's, large, large dark aardvark. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a fun one. That's a fun one. Yeah, good solo there. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. That one's really tricky. I don't know why. It's just the intervals are weird, and they're not intervals that I'm used to. So I never know what is exactly going to happen when I start that one, but. But nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. And, um, and we move on. And we move on. <laughs> that part, as Coco the drummer used to say, that part of our life is now history. That's true. That is true. So, how are our friends on the internet? They okay there? Our friends are happy. Good. They like that. Good. Oh, they're wondering what happened to the Ruby Tone Studio sign, the neon. Well, Where's the neon? It's uh, it's over there. Over there, over there. It's um, it's a little tricky to hang. We'll get it. We'll get it back up again. He did another show down here. I don't know if you guys saw that one. It was a Doc Watson tribute. Um, if you're on Jim Henry's Patreon, um, you would have known about this. Yeah, the, and, uh, the Patreon uh, show. We. Uh, he's got a Patreon. That's right. Patreon is a way to information to help support artists. Such as myself. We keep trying to get Tracy to, to get her Patreon thing together, but she just hasn't done it yet. Well, because when you make a Patreon, then you have to be accountable for... You do. You have to... You have to make things. You have to do something. And I make a lot of things, but I don't tend to make them on a schedule. But actually, I'm super fired up about my memoir. I think I just cracked something really important in the memoir. And so I may be motivated enough to put together a Patreon to help support me while I put that together. It's getting there exciting. Go. There you go. In the book zone. But yeah, Patreon is a great way to to help out and it's also uh, you get some cool stuff. Like the like the show that we did. Yeah, the Doc Watson. And also the we were, I was actually Tracy was here the other day. I'm working on a song, uh, a sort of an involved recording of a song and and it, I've been uh releasing uh or showing sort of behind the scenes of how I put that together. It's very, uh, all the layers and, and, and adding things. And she put a whole, a whole, I hate to say this because it's a nasty word, but a shit ton of violin on this thing. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot, there's like I all. I sprayed all over yeah, it. Yeah, it's like her, she's her own orchestra on this thing. So, and so the next uh, uh, installment, which is coming up in a few days, is going to, I'll show you how we did that. So Yeah, so the Patreon, so he, anyway, reconfigured the studio for the Patreon, took the Ruby Tone studio sign down. But we'll get it up and go. And we just haven't put it back up yet. But we had this lovely plant. Yep. Look at that. Direct from the deck. You haven't, you haven't killed it. Not yet. When did you get it? Uh, no, I'm pretty good with the deck plants, <laughs> actually. It's $24. I'm, I'm going to get the, most of the summer out of that Yeah, thing. I love these. They're, they're really pretty. All right. All right. Let's move right along. Someone called it a flower chandelier. Yeah, it's kind of... It is. I like it, too. Yeah, no. It's, with the red guitar under yeah, it. Yeah, no. It's, it's, it's very cute. cute. Nobody's playing that guitar today. It's just there to it's look just good to with be, the flowers. That's the ruby tone. Um, all right. Shall we try this one? Yeah, let's try it. Blackbirds singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You're only waiting for this moment to arrive 
birds singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life <laughs> Sorry. You were only waiting for this moment to be free Just like we rehearsed. <laughs> I was all ready to go and go on the violin there. Oh, well. That's okay. Um, yeah, we had a couple different arrangements for that yeah, one. And we, then we, we got we, crisscrossed we, in our and heads. And we played all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. I'm glad that we can share that with you guys and we can let you know. Like, It's sort of like the show and then the meta show. <laughs> like, And here's what just happened in case you... <laughs> here's what we saw. Um, I think I was playing mandolin on this one, was I not? Oh, yeah, okay. Here it is, hiding back here. Here it is, little fella. Come on out. It doesn't have a name. It should. Mandy. Oh, Mandy. You came and you gave without taking. All right. It should be roughly in tune. So this one, uh, this one just has the mention of a of an animal in it. That's why we pulled this one out. It's, it's a fun one to play, and uh, I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give it away. We are in uh, C minor. Oh yeah, the saddest of all keys. All right, you ready? Should we try this? Say a man's made out of mud, a poor man's made out of muscle and blood, muscle and blood, skin and bones, a mind that's weak and a back that's strong, load sixteen tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Morning when the sun didn't shine, picked up my shovel and walked to the mine. I loaded 16 tons, a number nine coal. The straw boss said, Well, bless my soul, you load 16 tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Raised in the cane break by an old mama line Can't no high tone woman make me walk in line You load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, 
Angel, don't you call me Cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store Step aside. A lot of men didn't, and a lot of men died. One fist of iron, the other is steel. And if the right don't get you, then the left one will. Sixteen tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Yeah. I was raised in the cane break by an old mama lion. What a line. <laughs> I was raised in the cane break by an old mama lion. <laughs> you love that. I love singing I know, that. mama lion. That's good. That's mama good. lion. I broke it. Ah, you broke my, my mandolin? I did. God damn it. So sorry. All right. All right. Oh, let's, uh, let me switch you. Let's see here. All right, well... So I've got another Dave Carter song for you, as you know, no shortage, no shortage of Critter songs in the Dave Carter catalog. Been a while since we played this one. Yeah. Come on, little string. Dub is in the house. Hey, Terry Woodburn, our good friend, longtime friend, hiking buddy, mushroom collector, man in red, foodie, foodie, photo, photographer. If you ever need a guide to the mountains of the West, Terry Woodburn is your guy. He knows all the trails, all the mountains. He also knows where all the good beer is. He knows where all the there. good beer is, and, and he knows where all the good beer. sushi is, too. He's a good guy to know. <laughs> He's a good guy, to, good guy to know. All right, that's pretty good. Play it, sister. Yeah. There we go. Make it stick. She come down from Oklahoma with a brown-eyed pride and joy. Yeah. She come down from Oklahoma with a brown-eyed pride and joy. Fair hair and testimony, and a rambling guitar boy. Well, I kept to the thorn break thickets because her daddy was a long chain man. Yeah, they kept to the thorn break thickets. Because her daddy was a Lord Chain man. On a night as long and wicked as a scar on his tattooed hand. Fly away, fly away, little wildwood flower. Lift your cares to the wind, coyote and white. Acting by 
the muddy water Any children by the lonely lake Yeah, children by the muddy water So good. That was spirited. The spirited version. It was zesty. Song. Zesty. Oh, we have such an interesting set list today. I love these themes. And uh, actually, here's what I'm going to put. You are invited to suggest a theme for a future show if you'd like. Put it in the comments and we will entertain it. Not that we don't have ideas, but we're just curious to see but what people come up with. we don't have any ideas. <laughs> no, we're curious to see what people come up with. And, well, maybe uh, we should take that other poll we were talking about. Do you want to do that, or do you want to wait on that? Yeah, Ron, you're right. That is a, I love that. Wah, 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 the, the ending chords to oh, yeah. the chorus. Yeah, it's really good. He must have had his piano brain on when he wrote that. It just doesn't, I don't know. Would you come up with a thing like that, Jim Henry, with your finger, with your guitar head? I don't know. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. So anyway, if you have a theme idea, oh, a Towns Van Zandt show, Wild Women, <laughs> of course Hannah would suggest that. Drinking songs oh. on the road. Wow, oh, West Coast songs. What do you mean by that, Molly? Say more. 
Do you mean like by West Coast writers or songs like <laughs> Venture a Highway in the Sun? We thought we were thinking we could do a whole, a whole. We haven't really got to them yet, but we could do a whole show on on just horse songs. Yeah, we realized that when we were making yeah, this set list. There's actually a lot of them, a lot of horse songs. Tricksters. How did you know? I totally studied trickster tales in college. I love the trickster, but I don't know that I. Do I know any trickster songs? That's curious. All Dylan. That's probably not going to happen. Dylan, it's been done. <laughs> Anything that says something about the West Coast is what she means. Well, Kate Wolf. Gosh, yeah. Unrequited love. Oh, man. Aren't we always singing that song all the time? <laughs> I feel like every song I sing is like, I don't know. Ramblers and gamblers. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of, yeah, that's a good a idea, of, Scott. We got a lot of great ideas. Do we want to take that other poll? We're going to wait on that. We'll wait on that. All right. Um, let's see. We're doing this. What was I going to do on this? Was I doing Mando? What key are we in? I don't know. We're in key of E. Yeah, I don't know if I was playing anything on this one. Well, you better figure out something pretty quick. All right, here we go. The sun's up, mm hmm. Looks okay, the world survived into another day. And I'm thinking about eternity. Some kind of ecstasy that I hold on me. Had another dream about the lines at the door They weren't quite as frightening as they were before But I'm thinking about eternity Some kind of ecstasy has got a hold on me Walls, winds, trees, and waves are coming through You being me and I'll being you Together in eternity some kind of ecstasy has got a hold on me And up among the firs where it smells so sweet Down in the valley where the river used to be I got my mind on eternity Some kind of ecstasy has got a hold on me And I'm wondering where the lines are And I'm wondering where the lines are yeah, I'm wondering where the lines are Oh, I'm wondering where the lines are Play a little bit There's old flying boat rising off the lake Thousand-year-old petrograph doing a double take Pointing a finger at eternity in the middle of this ecstasy Young men marching helmets in the sun Polished as precise as a brain behind the gun They got me thinking about eternity Some kind of ecstasy's got a hold on me And I'm wondering where the lines are Yeah, I'm wondering where the lines are yeah, I'm wondering where the lines are Oh, I'm wondering where the lines are Play a little more there. Raiders on the knot of the surface of the bay One of these days we're gonna sail away Sail into eternity Some kind of ecstasy's got a hold on me And I'm wondering where the lines are Yeah, I'm wondering where the lines are Yeah, I'm wondering where the lines are Yeah, I'm wondering where the lines are Oh, I'm wondering where the lines are I'm wondering where the lines are yeah, I'm wondering where the lines are. Oh, wondering where the lines are.
Wondering where the lines are. Bruce Coburn. I love it. I need to study Bruce Coburn. I don't know enough by him. He's got some things to say. He does. I've, I've read a bunch of his lyrics online, but I just haven't listened to how he puts it all together. His, uh, his music, his guitar parts are, are stunning. Yeah? Yeah, some of them. Have you ever listened to If I Had a Rocket Launcher? You know that song? Mm -mm. It's an intense song, but the, the guitar part is, is unbelievable. It's really cool. So I've been part of this songwriting challenge this year. It's called Real Women, Real Songs. I'm actually a couple songs behind now. I don't have a terrific excuse. I was... I think what happened was I, I came across a prompt that didn't move me very much. And then I just tried all together too hard to make something good out of it. And then <laughs> it ended up being really kind of out of the field. And then I shared a couple lines with Jim Henry, and he's like, that doesn't make any sense at all. I don't get it. And then I stopped writing. <laughs> I mean, I kept writing, but I just couldn't finish it after you're that. You're welcome. I know. I know. No, actually, you probably saved people from some nonsense. But um, so, yeah, so I fell off the horse a little bit, but, but I am trying to expand my my knowledge of songwriters I'm trying to pay attention to how people are putting things together sometimes it's the simplest lyric with like you're saying you know a really beautiful part and then sometimes it's a really complicated lyric over a really simple part or sometimes everything's complicated and sometimes everything's simple it's very interesting there's a great book by Paul Zolo called Songwriters on Songwriting, and it's got interviews of all these really in-depth interviews, too. They're short, but he gets right to the heart of it with lots of songwriters. I'm so curious to see what people have to say. Well, it turns out everybody's got their own method. <laughs> they all have their own method, you know. The most recent one I read was Laura Nero, and she's just like, do your thing, you know. I think most people would say that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is that makes us feel like we have to fit into a certain form, but I definitely have that in me. <clears throat> and my my goal by the end of the year is going to be to, not only to turn them in on time, but um, <laughs> to really find a certain freedom inside the songwriting. But I'm still in sort of the copying phase, you know, where I'm copying people that I like. I'm still finding my voice as a songwriter, but. Um, this is a song I wrote. This is the, actually the very first song I wrote. Um, that worked out as a segue. Um, <laughs> when I didn't really know anything, but I just had a feeling. And so this is what I came up with. Um, this one's called The Verdant Mile. Mm -hmm. da 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 So close to the bone No muscle left to carry it This black bag of stones The August heat, the autumn rain And a winter's face in blue, yeah These seasons keep their spinning up, but there's no sign of you. Mm, there is no sign. Mm -hmm. Richard says the whippoorwill done taught him how to go. Tell him death is just a dream What do I know? Cause it's everything and nothing When the spirit cracks the sky The flowers fold and go to seed And no one questions why I Mountain 
How's everybody doing? Done? Everyone's doing good. They're in a good mood now? Yeah. Yes, that's right. That is Richard. Richard. Richard Chindel. My buddy. Now a poet in Argentina. That's a tough that's a tough gig right now. Be my <laughs> What having, do you mean? Well, they're having some issues down there. With the virus and a and a Trump Trump like guy who's in charge. Mm. And, you know. But let's not get into politics. For the moment. For the moment. <laughs> well, this one, yeah, this is a, this is a, this is an interesting one. <laughs> we put it on the list just you know because of the title, and um, looked up the lyrics and was amazed. We were amazed to see <laughs> what passed for lyrics. <laughs> Speaking of simple, I know I was like, why couldn't I think of this song? Well, you know, it's all, sometimes it's all about attitude. It's all about attitude. That's right. I'm just going to respond to a uh, comment. Toonsmith is a great book, and I read it, and I need to go back to it. And Jimmy Webb, Jimmy Webb talks about how he putting songs together. It's brilliant. Yeah. Highly recommended. Or they're happy as clams, they say. Good. Good. We want to keep you happy. <laughs> Bob Cole, just hang in there. We're going to get at least one of those in for you. <laughs> I'm just going to clap on this one. Really? Yep. Yeah, this one won't take long. <laughs>
crying all the time Well, you never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine They said you was high class, that was just a lie well, They said you was high class, but that was just a lie you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine You ain't nothing but a hound dog No crying all the time You ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine You ain't never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. I had no idea that was what the lyric was. What did you think it was? I had no I don't know. All I, all I, all I ever knew was, you ain't nothing about a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't never had a head a... You knew it was a rabbit, didn't you? Or maybe not? No. No, I just, I've never paid attention. It's all about Elvis and his hips swinging around. <laughs> you couldn't take your eyes off of him, right? Yep. Oh, my, oh, someone said, how about a show of Elvis song? That'd be hilarious. I'll, I'll do old fat Elvis. I'll do all <laughs> those things. Men say. That's a good one. Lonely fools. Way up here. We're going way. We're going. We're going Where are we going? We're going up here. All right. You ever hear that story about Elvis and Dolly Parton? No. What was that song that she wrote that, uh, Whitney Houston had a hit with. Um, I will always love you. I will always love you. Dolly wrote that song, and Elvis wanted to record it, but he did because it's a great song. He was going to make it a hit, but the deal with Elvis was that every if he recorded your song, he got half the rights, half the oh, royalties, well, mm -hmm. and Dolly refused. She wow. said, "Nope, sorry, not going to do it." Dolly is a wise business person. Yep. John, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Thanks for hanging around so long. John Ringwald is taking his leave of us. Nice. Thanks for coming. Watching the windows close I've not seen you lately On the street by the beach Or places we used to go I have a picture of you On our favorite day by the seaside there's a bird stealing bread that I brought out from under my nose Tell me, baby, tell me Does this company make light of a rainy day? How I've missed you lately And the way we would speak And all that we wouldn't say Do his hands in your hair Feel a lot like a thing you believe in Or a bit like a bird Stealing bread out from under your nose
tell me Do you carry the words around like a key or a chain? And I've been thinking lately Of a night on the stoop and all that we wouldn't say If I see you again on the street by the beach in the evening Will you fly like a bird stealing bread out from under my nose? Stealing bread. Moody. Yeah. Oh, David, you like that one. I'm glad. Yeah. That'll, that'll put you right in a mood. Yeah. So we have, um, well, we still have a lot of songs. Oh, look what's next. I know. Well, <laughs> Speaking of birds. <laughs> couldn't, we couldn't do this show. And not play this song. <laughs> How come that sounds out of tune? Mm. Vicky, I'm glad on. you like that one. Yeah, it's a moody tune, all those minor sevens. Major sevens. Major sevens. Big M. Well, if I leave here tomorrow. <laughs> Would you still remember me? Cause I must be traveling on. You know, I can hear all the computers being turned off right now. I can hear that happening. <laughs> We're not gonna play that song. That's a joke. It was a joke. That was a joke. Let's not do that one. <laughs> But let's do this one. This one. Hello, Ukraine. Ukraine is in the house. Nice. And Ukraine is back. Yay. What are they drinking over there? That's what I want to know. Yeah. We, we took a poll of what people were drinking at the top of the show. So if you want to chime in and. <laughs> Robert Sobsey says, thanks for not playing that. Yeah. No, that's, <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's worth your donation right there. <laughs> that's right. That's worth a donation to Jimmy. Stop. Here's money to stop. <laughs> All right. Speaking of, here's our here's our information about our, our PayPal and our Venmo. Venmo, they don't charge a fee, so we slightly prefer that. But whatever's convenient for you, uh, we're so grateful for your support. Um, you've got a song to sing. Yes, I do. Yeah. Let's uh, do it. This is one. A uh, couple of bunnies appear in this one. That's why we that's why we chose it. It's one I wrote for my grandson Roman who is just a little over a year old now. And so cute. He's very cute. He's a fine young man. He, uh, he's not walking yet. He's close, very close. And um, He's yeah. waving, though. What's that? He's waving. He can wave. He's waving and he's he goes, chewing. He points. Oh, he goes like that. Oh. Definitely. He sings into the, into the hole of the guitar. Yeah, he can do that. He enjoys chickens and... Uh, just looking at them, not eating them, I don't think. <laughs> but here we go. And yeah, so hopefully I can remember this one. All we need is you. Well, I can hardly stand it, waiting for the day. Ever since your mom told me baby's on the way. There's two stuffed bunnies waiting tied up with a bow everyone's excited 
waiting for the Roman show. Now all we need is you. You have the star and roll. It's 40 weeks. We need a peek at your 10 tiny toes. And we'll watch you grow in your mama's arms and your daddy's gentle hands. There's no more to do. Now all we need is you. my coffee table now there's more room on the floor to play candy land and legos and have tea parties galore and i sure hope you like bike rides and chasing fireflies at night and sharing chocolate ice cream because you'll get the last bite now all we need is you and everybody knows when you pop out your little snout, we'll be a Roman nose. And we'll watch you grow in your mama's arms and your daddy's gentle hand. There's no more to do now, all we need is you. was a baby she crawled inside my heart and showed me how much room there is and turned the light on in the dark now it's your turn little buddy to help your mama shine well, you'll always be her baby like you'll always be mine all we need is you to try on your new clothes. They're not as cute as your birthday suit, but that's just how it goes. And we'll watch you grow in your mama's arms and your daddy's gentle hands. There's no more to do now, all we need is you. We're almost due, now all we need Dan Unger says soon he'll be a Roman Roman. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Roman in the gloaming. Roman in the gloaming. Yeah. Not as cute as your birthday suit. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, all right. All right. No, it's not in tune. Vicky says that's a sweet song, Jim. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it made everybody cry for a while. Now they're talking about vodka. Yeah. Well, you know, the show is long enough that you, you, get, <laughs> you go from a little afternoon coffee to a drink. I know. StreamYard funnels in all the comments into our interface here, so I don't know. Um, I haven't actually seen any comments from you before this, but I also close my eyes while I sing so I don't get distracted, so maybe they came through, I'm not sure. Um, but I, I think I am seeing some comments on, um, if someone's on Facebook, actually maybe if just a few people could, I know it is fancy. If a few people could just tell us if they're on Facebook or YouTube. I mean, I think I know that well, from the from the little picture. The little logo. Yeah. yeah. The little yeah, everybody's got a logo whether they know it or not. Well, you could put them on the screen too. And we won't we won't play that game, I guess, but No. Well, let's, should we try this one? Yes. I'm going to use the other pick. We need a harder pick for this one. Mm 
I ride an old pain I lead an old den Going down to Montana For to throw the hula in They feed in the gully They water in the draw Their tails are all matted Their backs are all raw Ride around little doggies Ride around real slow For the fiery and the snuffy Rear and a go Now old John Dodd Had two daughters and a farm one went to Denver and the other went wrong. His wife was killed in a poor fight. He sings this song most every night. Right around little doggies, right around. When I die, take my saddle from the wall, put it on my pony, and lead us out of the stall. Tie my bones to his back, point us out west, and we'll ride the prairie. This is the the the, 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 horse? Equ the equestrian portion of the show. <laughs> Not really equestrian, but equine, I should say. Equine. Or, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, Bob Cole can correct my language there. Robin, nice to see you in here. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, Rob people are. Yeah, people are. We got face <laughs> Facebook and YouTube. Good. Let's see. Good. We, we um, don't do PayPal or Venmo. Do you have a mailing address? We do have a mailing address. I can, I guess while you tune up, I can do that real quick. Maybe. Okay. Um, yeah, that's probably yeah. a good idea. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Let's see here. Just real quick. Let's see. 
can just drop it by the house. Yeah. If you wanted to send a check or chocolate, that's where it would go. <laughs> Oops, that's P.O. Box, not P.O.B.O. <laughs> P.O. Box. in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Tell the story take about it Greenfield. Every now. day. What? Tell the, the Greenfield story that you told me yesterday. Oh, the Green. Oh, it's not that funny. I realized when I told it to you, it wasn't that funny. It was just funny to me in the car. Well, it's it's in some ways it's remarkable. It's that. <laughs> oh, okay. So so where we are in Shootsbury. It's way up the hill, like, you know, you get off the highway and it's a lot of turns and it's a lot of squiggly turns. Yeah, if you've never been here before, and I, I routinely get stopped. If I'm outside in the yard, people stop and say, how do I, <laughs> where do I, how, where's the nearest gas station? <laughs> yeah, and there isn't any. There's there nothing up here except for a tiny little post office in, a, in a, like a trailer and, and, a, and a tiny, tiny library. Yeah. Right? Yep. And so I'm going, we, and when you're coming up to shoot spray, you call it going up the hill. And when you're going back to town, you're going down the hill. And so I'm going down the hill and I'm passing through a tiny town called Leverett. And again, it's just two lane after two lane, a left here and a right here and a bend here and a yield there. And, and I'm behind this guy and he's like swerving and he's going super slow. And, you know, nobody up in the hill like follows the speed limit. Although, <laughs> anyway... So I'm getting a little bit peeved, and I'm just like, oh, dude, come on. And I'm wondering if he's drunk. I'm wondering if I should call him in because he's swerving so bad. And then he puts a hat on. Like, I see what he's doing in the car. I'm like, what's going on? I can't even figure this out. And we get to the intersection in Leverett, which is like a triangle. There's, like, traffic going whatever way. And, and he just rolls out the window, and he just starts yelling, Greenfield, <laughs> Greenfield. <laughs> And, and I'm just like, what? What is he talking about? How does he know where I live? Like, this is so weird. I pull into a stop behind him, and he's just like, Greenfield. And he's saying it in this really thick Massachusetts accent, which I can't duplicate. And, and then I see this hand, and, I, and I'm looking at the hand like, is this a hand that's telling me to go around, or is this a hand that really needs something? And it was a hand that, it was a plea. It was obviously a desperate hand. And so I pulled alongside, and I rolled down my window, and he's like, he's like, where's Greenfield? <laughs> Just, like, dude, you're not even close. He's like, I live in Williamstown. If I can just get to Greenfield, I can find my way home. And he was just like this this poor guy who's like disheveled, a little bit older, and I don't know, just totally he was just a mess. And so, but luckily Turns out you were going to Greenfield. I said, I gotcha. I said, I'm going that way. And he's like, You're kidding. And you could just see the relief just wash over him and then well then I had to sort of drag his slow self all the way down the hill through all the turns like I never could have described the way to Greenfield it was just like yeah, he's gonna just, have to follow know. me and uh, and even once we got on 91 which is a highway with signs that say Greenfield next exit he still I still felt like I had to hang back you know <laughs> And then when we got off Greenfield, there's a roundabout. You go around the roundabout, and then you head off to Williamstown. And I was like, I made this sign. And he was like, toot, 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 toot. He just gave me like 100 honks. And he was just like, woohoo, thank you. But it was just really funny. Like, at first, I was so annoyed. And then I just laughed all the way from Leverett to Greenfield. Like, this well, silly crazy. man. No, it's crazy. That he, he got was... so lucky. I'm just thinking yeah. how I would feel. Like, if I got turned around and someone just happened to be going to a town 20 miles away. Which is exactly where I was going. Yeah, you're all choked <coughs> up now, aren't you? No, it's allergies. All right. Well, that was so, that was yeah, that was funny. Let's keep plodding along here on yeah, our let horse. Let me take this section. banner down. So there's our there's. The, I, I assume if anyone wanted that address, you've got it now. Um, okay, I'm gonna take the tip off now. Yeah, our next monthly show. Well, Dan's asking what our next monthly show is. So should we have that yeah, conversation have now? <clears throat> so we're trying to figure out, and we're asking you because you're here, and we're you're the people who watch our shows. So 
um, we realize that it's summer and that the world is sort of opening up again and that people maybe are less likely to be at their computers at three o'clock or high noon on a Tuesday afternoon. So what we're interested in hearing from our devotees, which you are, is when when would be an optimal time to have our next show? Yeah, we're thinking you know? maybe we'll do it at, <coughs> at nighttime. Yeah, like, like what maybe do you think? on the weekends. I don't know. What would people like? Or maybe people are like, no, 3 o'clock on Tuesday is the most I mean, we are happy time. to keep doing 3 o'clock on a Tuesday. That works great for us. But, you know. Yeah, what's great for you is what What's great for know. you? Is there a time that maybe is a little better for you? And I, we know this is going to be like all over the map. But if we do see a trend, you know, we might shift the show. So generally right. speaking, it's going to be the last week of the month. But we don't know what day yet. And, uh, and, and perhaps, you know, perhaps we'll do, maybe we'll do two shows. We'll do one on Tuesday afternoon and maybe one on the weekend. Nighttime. 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 But let's play a song while they're answering the question. Let's keep this Yeah. Keep this show moving right along. Here. What do we got? Oh, we got that one. Oh, wait. Yeah. Where are we? Oh, we're on that. Yeah. We're I on... thought we did it already. No, no, we're doing horses. That's how long I talked. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Michael, Michael says the next show should be 8 p.m. at the Alberta Rose. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, we did one of those. A remote show. You ready? I'm itching to play this one. Yeah, let's go. Well, along about 1825, I left Tennessee very much alive. And I never would have gotten through the Arkansas mud if I hadn't been a riding on the Tennessee stud. I had me some trouble with my sweetheart's paw And one of her brothers was a bad outlaw I sent her a letter by my Uncle Fudd And I rode away on the Tennessee stud Well, the Tennessee stud is long and lean The color of the sun and his eyes are green He had the nerve and he had the blood And there never was a horse like the Tennessee stud Drifted on down into no man's land Across that river called the Rio Grande I raised my horse with the Spaniards fold Till I got me a skin full of silver and gold Me and the gambler we couldn't agree We got in a fight over Tennessee We jerked our guns and he fell with her And I got away on the Tennessee stud Tennessee stud with long lean, the color of the sun and his eyes are green. He had the derby, he had the blood, and there never was a horse like the Tennessee stud. Well, I got just lonesome as a man can be, dreaming of a girl in Tennessee. Tennessee studs, green eyes turned blue Cause he was a dreamin' on his sweetheart too So we loped right back across Arkansas I Whooped her brother and a whooped her paw When I found that girl with the golden hair She was a-ridin' on the Tennessee mare Stirrup and stirrup and side by side We crossed them mountains and the valleys wide We came to Big Muddy and we forded the flood On the Tennessee mare and the Tennessee stud Now there's a pretty little baby on the cabin floor A little hoss colt playing round the door But I love that girl with the golden hair And the Tennessee stud loves the Tennessee mare now the Tennessee stud was long lean, the 
color of the sun and his eyes are green. He had the nerve and he had the blood and there never was a horse like the Tennessee stud. That's a fun one. That is a fun one. That is a fun one. One of these days I will figure out the solo. Tennessee Ooh. Stud. I learned that from Doc Watson. Doc Watson, too. That was part of your Doc Watson show. Yep. All right, where did we do this one? I think we did it here. We got just a few more songs for you here. Thank you so much for tuning in. People are liking the three o'clock. Some people are saying Liz was suggesting maybe a seven o'clock, but all, but on a Tuesday still. Yeah, they're liking the Tuesday. Liking Tuesday. Well, we're, we don't compete with much on a yeah, Tuesday. It's true. true. Plus, Not it's our Good you. News Tuesday thing. You know, I, I still I haven't written Good News Tuesday post in a while on Facebook, but. We like to keep the good news flowing every day, but especially on a Tuesday. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Is this where we did it? Yeah. No, I think we did it. No, 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 no. no. Oh, well, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Yeah, this is good. This is for Bob Cole. Celia was a wise old gal and a turtle green was she She took me up upon her back and swam across the sea I learned about the coast of Spain, the caves of Xanadu And to do unto all critters as you'd have done to you Because Celia says we all sail the sea together Sister Celia says no one truly swims alone On the wave's bright crest In the worst and best of weather Fin or feather, friends forever Celia says She took me to a secret spot A thousand miles from shore Down to a sunken city Upon the ocean floor And there these words were written out Upon the ancient wall so you have done to one of us, you have done to all Because Celia says, we all sail the sea together Sister Celia says, no one truly swims alone On the wave's bright crest, in the worst and best of weather Fin or feather, friends forever, Celia says Somewhere on some sunny beach Far from the world of man A turtle hides her treasure Eggs upon the sand Make a wish for peaceful seas And oceans without end And somewhere there will wait for you Your own sea turtle friend Because Celia says We all sail the sea together Sister Celia says no one truly swims alone On the wave's bright crest Through the worst and best of weather Fin or feather, friends forever Celia says Fin or feather, friends forever Celia says Ah. Ah. It's a nice one. Celia says by Dave Carter. There's a lovely version of that in the world by Miss Maria Sangiolo. You ought to check it out. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, you played on that I one, did. actually. I did. Yep. She just looks, has one of the sweetest voices yeah, in all of folk music. It's, it's, all, it's so pure. Mm -hmm. um, 
Let's uh, let's let's do this one, and then, and then we'll close with the Barry says. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, you don't want to do seventeen? No. no. Oh. Okay. No, I don't. Seventeen, you don't want to do? No, sixteen. Oh. Sixteen. We'll move eighteen to sixteen. Eighteen to sixteen. Yeah. Hike. And yeah. you don't want to do seventeen? No, we can do seventeen. Oh, but then I would do two in a row. That's fine. That's fine. But let's. Well, I'm going to do two in a row right now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm going to do two in a row. Now, I did a long time ago. I wrote a song about my dog Clover. See, and it's, and I, I wrote it because when she, a lot of times she would take a nap. Uh oh, are we frozen? Yeah, that one's frozen over there. Uh oh, let's see if I can. Let's see if we can fix it. Do the people say that it's frozen? The people say that it's frozen. That's how I knew. But they can still hear us. They can hear us. Okay. Well, still then don't frozen. say anything. <laughs> Okay, give us a second. Jim Henry's going to go do something. He's going to do something. I don't know what. All right. Come on, little video. Okay. Audio's fine. Yeah, he's, he's clicking some buttons over there. All right, let's do this. There we go. There we go. We should be back. You'll have us in a couple of seconds. Do do do. There you are. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> Good thing we're almost done. Because all my stuff's on the floor. That was impressive. Oh man. Wait, I need the lyrics. <laughs> Hang on. Say some words, Tracy. Jimmy is Ugh. finding his lyrics. No, that's not it. All right. So if you haven't, if you haven't tipped yet, and if you're enjoying the show, <laughs> this fine, fine, it's a variety this show now. smooth, um, this smooth we presentation go. we're offering you this evening. There we go. Uh, yeah. Sorry, the video froze. No, no reason that we can discern. It's technology. It happens. Well, we're back now, it right? happens. Okay. Yeah, we're happy. Everybody's Good. happy. You know, it's just like fixing a toilet. You jiggle the wire and everything's you fine. Jiggle the handle. Motion has returned. All right, so let's try the sun. So when she, um, my dog would sleep, she'd be dreaming and her little feet would be. Your dog? Yeah. I thought you said your daughter. No, no, my dog. Wow. No. And so I wrote this little song. You know, she would make little noises and her feet would move, and I was like, what is she dreaming about? So, plus it's in 3 4. Well, my dog is crying for unknown reasons. She's lying asleep on the floor. Her little legs are moving, her little ears are twitching. She ain't going nowhere now Maybe my doggy Is chasing that kitty The one from over next door Her name is Fluffy And she has a reputation For being the neighborhood whore <laughs> now Maybe my doggy Chasing that kitty, but we'll never know for sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I know, that's, we need to recover after that one. <laughs> what? That's all you got? Nothing? Yeah, you're, you're so moved. No, I by love that. it. I love it. No, I'm thinking I need to go upstairs for a second. Oh, really? Yeah. I really need to oh go for a second. This is we. <laughs> this is this is devolved. This whole thing. All right. If you got to go to the upstairs, then I have to go upstairs. Tell a story. Talk about your Patreon. Well, let me see. I'll think of a song to play. All right. Here's one. There's no animals in this, but it's the one that came to mind. Well, 
lights come up, the lights go down, and I'm a singer in between. I count my cash by the dashboard light. I hit first gear and leave the scene. Town to town, night to night Big crowds or small, I do the show A ten-hour drive, a one on stage It's a crazy life, I know But I love the sound of the midnight train Smell of the road after the rain A full tank, half a pack and a thousand miles to go Raise the sound of the whistle and blow When I'm gone, life at home goes on Sun knows ten new words. Cries for me in the middle of the night. My wife lets him sleep with her. But I love the sound of a midnight train. Smelling the road after the rain. A full tank. Half a pack and 800 miles to go I raise the sound of the whistle Sometimes I feel like a bore But a gig's a gig And I can't complain I don't get gigs anymore But I love the sound of a midnight train Smelling the road after the rain Half a pack and six hundred miles to go. I raise the sound of the whistle blow. I raise the sound of the whistle blow. Hardly missed any of that. I know, I'm fast. Yeah, let's let's go straight to 17 now. Let's just. Okay. Yeah, let's just. That was lovely. Yeah, it was nice to it was nice to play a song not about an animal. <laughs> You're sick of those animals. Sick songs. of the animals. Dan said I was dog tired, and Hannah said I went to Kathmandu. <laughs> <laughs> They're so silly. All right, so this. Let's see, where do we do this one? That's the question. I think we did it up here. No. I'm going to play a song, one of my Real Women, Real Song songs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember. I can't hear it in my head. I, I mean, I can hear the song, but I can't figure out what key I'm in. It's not there. 
Um, let's see. Why did I do this? Oh, maybe it was way high. Yeah. All right, we're going to try it here. So this is a song I wrote. The prompt, what was the prompt? The prompt was flashlight. <laughs> this was in the third week. And in the third week, that would have been, well, that would have been the third week of January. And, uh, and I was really deep in grief over my Miss Kitty, who many of you know about. And so I wrote this song. Um, I was thinking about flashlight, and I was thinking about little signs that I was getting or was wishing I was getting. And this is what I com came up with. Um, it's just called Find You. I got sunlight on the kitchen floor and a shadow by the tree. The mystery is alive right here inside my cup of tea. I don't need a flashlight or no moon to help me see. Cause everywhere I look, I find you. In the happy app of the neighbor dogs that play in the city park. Your light is still alive, my dear, through winter's cold and dark. You can let them keep their lanterns, let them use up their last spark. Cause everywhere I look, I find you. Oh, heart of my heart, and I world has got me thinking that there's no such thing as goodbye. Mm. There's a fiddlehead unfurling like a cattail in the dell. River's white and jumping, and there's a jingle of the bell. And Daisy hearts as golden as the eyes I loved so well. Everywhere I look, I find you. Oh, heart of my heart, and I within my eye, you say. Summer sky. The world has got me thinking I got no good reason to cry. Happiness and peace in 
got me thinking that there's no such thing as goodbye. I don't need no flashlight or no moon to help me see. I got sunlight on the kitchen floor, a little shadow by the tree. From Miss Kitty. Ah, uh, that's a sweet song. It is a sweet song. I wish I didn't have an allergy in my throat while I was trying to sing it, but I love her so much, and I miss her so much. It's been, what, five months now? Every day. I still, I'm just like, oh. But Pickles, I know a couple of you were curious about Pickles, <laughs> my new tabby. Well, she's not that new. She Pickles came in February, but she's doing good. She's not a cuddler. She's not a cuddler. I held her today for a full, like, two minutes, and she was just like, what are we doing? What are we, <laughs> let me down, woman. But I will say that she's starting to be chatty. She's starting to come down and be like, ow, 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 ow. which is good because cats in nature don't talk to each other except for kittens to their mothers and mothers to their kittens. So that means we're having a maternal, there's a little exchange going on. Which one is which, though? Is I'm the, the mama. And she's, she's the kitten. Sh you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. Okay. Yeah, because she wants food. <laughs> mm. Pickles is a hefty cat. and she needs, she needs a lot to sustain her. Takes a lot of greenies. And thank God for Michael because he sent us a whole heap of them. And she's very happy about that. But yeah, Pickles, man. Pickles. She's a trip. Pickles. <laughs> so what do you got? Are you going to take us out, Jimmy? Um... No, let's do, um, let's play one more. Let's do, um... Oh, Michelle came. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Oh, it's so nice to see you in here. Oh, my gosh. Dan wants to know if I'm going to learn to play the pickle O. Oh, God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> but let's, let's do, um... He's relentless. Let's, let's play, let's just do one more here. All right. Um, for these nice people. Thank you so much for tuning in. You should probably... Oh, we have the banner going there. That's I good. have the banner yeah, going. Um, would you like me to put your Patreon banner Sure, up? just flash that one more time. And maybe, yeah. maybe flash the uh, mailing address too one time. So if you're interested, um, Jim Henry is creating um, all kinds Stuff. of things. He's, he's, he, um, he's creating songs and then kind of blowing them up so that you can see how they're made, um, which is really interesting for people. And sometimes there's live shows and uh, you know live that shows, nobody else gets to see. So lessons awesome. you've given, haven't you given some instructions? Some demos, yeah, how to make swells and stuff like that. Had, I did know, a stuff. podcast for a couple of years, so just I'm doing you know stuff, creative stuff, and uh, interviews sometimes. Sometimes and... interviews, just all kinds of stuff. I'm thinking about doing a TV show, honestly. He wants to be a TV host. I got a TV studio here, so I'm thinking about it like a. You know, I don't know, weekly show. Like Letterman? <laughs> Are you going to be Letterman? No, but, you know, musical guests, obviously. Puppet show. A puppet show. <laughs> I'm thinking about having a science corner. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, We're going to have school fun. down here is what like it physics, sounds like. Like a physics corner with my, my you know... Your uh, PhD my son. PhD, you know, physics guy. So He can break it down and make it understandable for the rest of so, us. So anyway, Patreon, you know, if you're interested in stuff like that, please please sign up. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get Tracy Tracy to have a Patreon too. Yeah, maybe I'll do it for my memoir, get my memoir going, and then just kind of <clears throat> share little bits of it as I as I go. Uh, it's a good story. Oh, God. <laughs> it is. I can just write it down. Uh, All right, let's do this. Let's do it. All right. All right. Thanks again for coming. Yep. Thank you for listening. We'll. Um... I don't know when the next show. I, you know, I it's guess it's going to be late June. Let's lay the last Tuesday in June. All right, the time is up in the air, and but... we'll figure out the time. But all right. All right, are we ready to do this? Thanks okay. again, everybody, for listening. Really appreciate it. What, what key are you in there? And the key of C. The people's key. Well, do you know what song we're doing? Are we doing this one? No. We're, oh, we're doing that yeah. one. Oh. <laughs> you still need your violin. But, I do. Yeah. I also need the lyrics. They go? And thanks for putting up with this this last portion of the show, which kind of got discombobulated. It got a little loose, didn't it? Yeah. Loose mm -hmm. got looser. All right, I'm ready. All right. Look for
for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, old Mother Nature's recipes that brings the bare necessities of life. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, I couldn't be fonder of my big home. The bees are buzzing in the tree to make some honey just for me. And when you look under the rocks and plants and take a glance at the fancy ants, well, maybe try a few. The bare necessities of life will come to you. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, that's why a bear can rest at ease with just the bare necessities of life. a papa or a prickly pear and you prick a raw paw well next time beware don't pick the prickly pear by the paw when you pick a pear try to use the claw but you don't need to use the claw when you pick a pear of the big paw paw have I given you a clue the bare necessities of life For the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, old Mother Nature's recipes that brings the bare necessities of life. That brings the bare necessities. Well, that's a fun one. That's a fun one. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening and throwing in the pot if you were able. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You helped keeping us going for the last 15 months. That's right. I hope everybody's doing well, healthy, staying safe. Getting your, getting your vaccination and all that stuff. And, uh, and we'll see you at the end of June. If all not right. before. If not before. All right. Goodbye. All right, everybody. See you next time. Take good care. <laughs>